we introduce a novel polygon light shading technique for physically based renderers. Our technique supports arbitrary polygons that can be animated across frames. Under our arbitrary polygon lighting scenarios, our technique achieves quality similar to that of a ray trace simulation. Given a fixed incident direction, the BRDF describes how a material reflects incident light as a spherical distribution. Polygon lighting requires integrating this spherical distribution over a spherical polygon, which is a difficult mathematical problem in general. Our key contribution to the problem of polygon light shading is the observation that this spherical integral is invariant to linear transformations. We extract this property by interpreting the spherical integral as a fraction of directions that originate from the distribution and intersect the polygon. Those intersecting directions are shown in red in the figure and remain so after being affected by linear transformations. We show that the transformed lines belong to a new distribution for which we derive a closed form. For this property, we deduce that, if we have a distribution with analytic integration properties over spherical polygons, then all of its linearly transformed variants can be integrated too. In our paper, we study the clamped cosine distribution, whose analytic integration properties over spherical polygons are known since the 18th century. We show that linearly transformed cosines can produce a wide range of spherical shapes, including anisotropy as well as skewness. They provide a good approximation to isotropic GGX BRDFs. In our algorithm, we use this approximation to solve the illumination integral analytically. We validate the accuracy of our approximation against ray-traced reference images for a wide range of roughness parameters and polygon lighting conditions. Finally, we provide an extension of our technique to account for texture-mapped polygonal lights. Our technique runs in real-time on a modern GPU. It is robust, fast, accurate, and simple to implement. This last animation showcasts our technique running at 65 frames per second in an industrial game engine on a high-end GPU.